Hey you guys, welcome back to the show. I got a couple of really cool things I'm working on today and over the last couple of days, getting a few things together, getting Malachi uh, ready with some uh, new signage. And I've also got a couple of other small projects. You guys stay tuned. Well, my brown paint finally came in. <laughs> well, you know, post office did deliver it within a mile of my home. So the guy that got it uh, last week, he delivered it today because he noticed that it wasn't his. <laughs> so anyway, here is the patch that I'm going to be making for the sign for the uh, um, forklift driver. <laughs> this is just one of the upgrades to save the tailgate, or at least try anyway, and to save the crane from being mashed when somebody pile drives it with a load of canned goods. All right, so what I've done is I've already painted with the brown, actually the black, the brown, and then the green. And I'm gonna uh, paint this over with some clear. And uh, I think after I get the clear on it, it will be able to take these stickers really well. That is the plan. Well, if you haven't noticed it in the last few videos, I've actually packed on a little bit of weight. Um, you haven't noticed it, I certainly have. And I don't know if you guys know, but I used to, I used to box. And I think I really need to get back into my boxing again so I can get back into shape. Um, you know, round is a shape. However, I need to get back into my boxing. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Get back into boxing, get back into shape. Yeah. Oh my gosh, look at that skill level. Well, I told you I could box, didn't I? All right, let's get back to work. All right, do you think that that's visible enough? <laughs> I sure hope so.
All right, it's all done. I am pretty pleased with that. Had to put a couple extra pieces of tape on there to get her to line up and, and get a little border just above that's in the um, clear, but wow, doesn't that really pop now? I mean, that looks, it looks fantastic. And what I'm really happy about is, woo wee it's in perfect alignment. So my OCD feels better already. You know, it's funny, people ask me, well, how in the world do I get in touch with you? <laughs> okay, okay, so there's other ways too. I am also on Messenger, so you can uh, find Dave Anderson. Um, you can look up Facebook, Dave Anderson, Heli Cool. Uh, you can leave me a message on on this video. Hey, wouldn't that be a surprise? Leave me a message on here. And um, if you call this number here, um, if you're giving a donation, even better. But if you call this number here, leave a message uh, with your phone number, say what you're calling about, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I get the message, okay? Hey, I also want you guys to know I've got three new t-shirt designs, and they are awesome. Of course, one of them is the three things that you never want to hear while you're in the U.S. Army. Totally awesome, totally hilarious. Check it out, Teesprings. I'll leave the link in the description. Well, before we finish up, I wanted to show you guys one more thing, and this is kind of like a, a public notice, <laughs> because um, this is the time of year that all of those paper wasps, at least where I live, they just get into everything. And if there is a vehicle that is sitting for more than just a few days, or, or maybe not, maybe just one day, a daily driver even, they will build their nest inside if they can get inside. And these trucks are not exactly, um, uh, airtight by any kind of means or any stretch of the imagination but this is what I do okay I get a little jar it doesn't have to be this big I put cotton balls in it and then I put skin so soft it's made by Avon it's an Avon product I put that up in the front window it it has volatiles in it and it and it uh, it doesn't smell bad it actually smells all right and the bees just don't like it. They will leave your vehicle alone. As a matter of fact, I had three nests being built in the passenger side doorway. I added a little bit more of the Skin So Soft in this little jar. Within a day, they had abandoned those nests. They're out of there. And that's what you want. You want them to leave you alone, go somewhere else, be out into nature and not into your rig. All right? All right, last little project. Ah, finally got a seat cover. I know these are cheap seat covers, but you know what? I'm okay with that so long as they fit halfway decent. These are made by Dickie, and this is not a paid advertisement. Nor paid endorsement. What's the matter? You fell over? Aww. I'll put you back up. <laughs> Don't look half bad. Don't look half good either, but it ain't bad. Well, for being a cheap uh, seat cover, It's kind of nice. Black. That's that'll work. It fits pretty good too. All right.
right, guys, that's a wrap. I really appreciate you joining me today. Once again, in the description, you'll find a lot of details of where you can order shirts and how you can support the mission if you choose to do so. Thanks again. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, I'm Dave Anderson signing out. You guys be safe out there and God bless.